Hi, this is Gary from Cheetah Transformation, and these are our Smartsheet quick tips on dashboard basics. In this video, I'm going to take you through some dashboarding basics. Here I have this very simple project plan, and I have some sheet summaries with a load of metrics that I want to use within my uh, dashboard. So I have a blank dashboard here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a widget and just show you some of these widgets here. So the first one I'm going to show you is the metric widget. So in my project plan, you can see that my progress is overall at 38%. And you can see here that I actually have a formula here to give me that number here at 38%. So what I want to do is click on the metric, say add data. And the important thing here is I'm getting it from the sheet summary here. I could get it from the sheet if I wanted to, but I think the sheet summary is a, a cleaner way to do it. So I want to make sure I click on sheet summary. And then I need to locate my sheet. And then I need to locate my metric. And you see I have that information here. So what we can do is to make it, all I want to see really is the, the 30 percent with the title. So I go to a stacked, and then I delete this element out here, which is the title. And then I make that nice and big. I make this down and then I change the project plan. So I say project sent complete. And there we have our first widget. And obviously I can then um, go in here, edit this, and then change the background as well if I wanted to. So um, if I want the text to be white and the background to be dark blue. And there you have it. So that's the first metric. So just moving on to the chart widget now. Um, so what I want to do is chart the number of risk status I have here. So I have a sort of a, a low, a medium, a high and on track. Uh, and what I want to do is track the number of low, medium, high and on track risks that I have that aren't yet 100% complete. And I have them again within my sheet, within my sheet summary um, through a formula. Um, however, I can't actually bring that information directly through into a chart um, on the dashboard. So what you need to do is you need to create a report. So I'm just going to do that quickly now. So I'm going to create a report. It needs to be a sheet summary report because my data is not in the sheet here. It's in the sheet summaries. So I'm going to create a sheet summary report here. And I'm going to call it Project Risks. And then I just need to direct it to the sheet that um, we, we want to look at. So uh, dashboard basics, and there's my project plan there. And then what columns do I want to display? So they are high, medium, low, and on track. They're the numbers I want to bring through. You can see it's brought the numbers through here. Um, so now what I can do is I can go back to my dashboard. I can then just cancel that. Make sure you refresh because obviously we've created a report. Uh, so we just need to refresh the, the browser, go back into edit, and then add a chart. So we add data, again, point it to the report that we want to report, uh, point it to, and then project risks. There you go. And just say OK. Obviously, this is the default report that comes through, but actually what we can do is we can select a different one. I'm going to select a donut, quite like the donut. Um, and then if we go to series here, we can actually show the amount. Um, and then again, I can go up here and change the title and call it Project Risks. Uh, if I wanted to, I could bring the legend down to the bottom. So I can say down here and bring it down to the bottom. Obviously change the size of it as well, just to make that graph a little bit bigger. So that's how you bring a graph into a dashboard. OK, so just moving on to the next widget, which is a shortcut. So what shortcuts are good for is to actually have links to other assets within your workspaces uh, so that you can quickly navigate to them. So one example of that is obviously if I wanted to um, have a Smartsheet item here and I you can see we can 
go to a website or have an attachment, but actually I want a smart sheet item. And what I want to do is actually I want to bring back um, the project plan um, that we're using um, for this uh, example. So um, if I go in here and call it project cyan2, um, you can see I've got quite a few examples of this. Um, it's in my GT folders. And it's this one here, project plan. And if I call this quick links, again, I can make that small if I want to. And again, to keep things uniform, I can change the color of the header, make it a little bit smaller, and just drag that across to the right hand side if I wanted to. And if I save that now, so anyone who goes onto this back dashboard and sees all the progress, or whatever, if they actually want to go and see the project plan itself, they click on that and it will take them straight to the, the project plan. So that's how to add a shortcut into your dashboard. So just moving on to the next widget. Um, so the next widget is a report. And what I'm going to do is I've created a report already, um, just bringing back the level of detail at the milestone level. So at this level, the dark blue, um, the status and the percentage complete, etc. I've created the report already, so all I need to do is just say add report. And I just need to find that report. You can see it's there. Just say OK. And I can just drag this across the entirety of my um, workspace there, my dashboard, sorry. And then just move this here. Um, I can make it bigger or smaller, depending on whatever I want to do. And again, um, I can go into here and change the fonts and then just rename it to Project Milestones. Um, so I can actually come in here and say, if I didn't want to show the, the Gantt, for example, I can click off that and take it away, but obviously I do. Um, and also, if you actually don't want to see this blue report um, formatting, so you can see I've got different colors on here. If I actually didn't want to see that, I can remove the formatting to make it completely white, but actually I want, I want to keep it on there. Um, so that's obviously how you add a report into a dashboard. Okay, so the next uh, couple of widgets around adding text into your dashboard. So the first one is title. So we just go in here and call this project cyan2. Um, and again, we can make that as big as we want. And then align left to right if we want as well. So that's the title. Um, to add in any rich text that you want to, uh, again, just click on there. I can just paste some text in here that talks about a project plan. And again, we can just make that as big or as small as we want. And again, change the colors to suit everything else. Uh, and if I want to drag it up, I can just drag it up and just put it in here, for example. And we'll keep our quick links down here and then just save. So that's a couple of ways to add text into um, your dashboard using the title and also the rich text format. Okay, so just moving on to the last couple of widgets that are available. So we have web content. So for example, if I wanted to embed a video from our YouTube channel, for example, I go to our YouTube channel and obviously take a copy of that. And then I can just paste that in. So add content and paste that in and say apply. And then I can put a title in here, for example, called YouTube channel. And then again, from here, I can make that the same as I've made everything else. And obviously resize that. So there you go, that's obviously how you can add sort of, you know, external sort of content. And the final one is around image. So um, normally with every sort of dashboard, you, if you're doing it for a project, you might have a client or something, uh, or you actually want to have your own sort of company image on there. So again, quite straightforward. Um, if I upload from computer, got, a, um, got an image here, just uploading here. And what I can do is just resize this. I can then say, I don't want to actually show a title um, and just make that a little bit smaller. And again, just then move that up to the top. Um, 
and to save. So there you go. So that's just going through some um, dashboard basics in how to add different widgets into a dashboard. Thanks for watching. And for further details on our free and paid Smartsheet training courses, please visit the training and events section on our website at www.cheetahtransformation.co.uk. Alternatively, contact us directly on help at cheetahtransformation.co.uk to arrange a call to discuss your requirements further.